the Gospel of the Lord. was stood in front of the grotto and very tearfully said to Mary, Mary, please bring me back here again because this is much better than Ibiza. <laughs> Changes things, this place. And we need at the beginning of our pilgrimage, I would suggest, to put our trust in the Lord. I don't know what the weather will be like for the rest of this week. Indeed, I don't know what the weather will be like for the rest of this day. <coughs> but we need to trust in the Lord. And there are things that can pull us back. I remember many years ago, somebody sent me a card. And on the front of this card was a marvellous image. On a rock stood Moses, with his arm outstretched, holding his staff and before him mountains of water parted. And Moses is looking down at one pilgrim, and he says, what do you mean it's a bit muddy? <laughs> Some people are never, ever pleased. We, however, put our trust in the Lord and make our journey with the Lord. But we all have a part to play. For me, faith is not something which is just us and the Lord. It's each one of us and the Lord. And our part is unique to ourselves. But the sum is better than the parts. I remember in my youth watching a film, uh, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, it was, with the present, at that time, Doctor Who, Tom Baker, as a hissable villain in it. And there was a line that went through the whole film, which said, trust in God, but tie up your camel. <laughs> we must trust in the Lord, but we all have a part to play, all have a part to share. Now the word pilgrim means the journey in a foreign land. And we do that, we're in France after all. But for, I think, for many people, our journey is into a land or a time that they wouldn't understand. They wouldn't understand what pilgrimage means to people. They would be incredulous that we are at a time where the sick and the needy have the priority, are the most important people with us. They would be a god at the idea that hundreds of young people would be paying money not to seek sun and sand and sangria, but to come and work and work hard and to pray and pray hard. This turns their expectations upside down and challenges them. This generation needs a sign. And the sign we give is the care and love that we share <coughs> this week and beyond. The word care has the same root as the word love. And to care is to love someone or to love others. But it is a type of love. It is also a lament. Lament that love is not shared. It is a care for people to love people in any way that they need to be treated. And this kind of care, this kind of love, is a sign for each of us. This type of care is life changing. Shakespeare would describe how someone could be deep drenched in a sea of care. I love that phrase. Deep 
stretched, completely overwhelmed by care, by love, by people seeking what is the best for you. Now, many people here have met my mother and father. My mother died a few years back. My dad is still with us. He's 91 soon and has been diagnosed with dementia. But they changed his medication, so I went to see him on Friday and told him I was coming, and I prayed for him. And as I was leaving, he said to me, when you get to Lord, apologize to Mary. Why do I need to apologize to Mary, I said. Well, you've been to Lord's more time than she has. <laughs> I love and honour my father, I will not apologise. <laughs> After all, she invites us. Come in procession, she said. But she invites us to share something wonderful. I describe the Grotto of Lord as a place where a little corner of heaven touches earth. Something wonderful about that place, and indeed it was at the Grotto of Lord that I made the decision to apply for priesthood. And when we come together to share and do what we can, we build something wonderful for God, in the words of Mother Teresa. We become something wonderful together. And our care, our love, unites and helps us. And indeed, in reality, I think, for many people, the true journey in a foreign land is the pilgrimage they take at the end of our journey until we are back here again to celebrate and to be united. In the words of Chesterton, for the virtuous things you do, the righteous work, the care that you give will not be forgotten. For we share and care as the Lord tells us to. Whatever you do to the least of these of mine, you do to me. And to care and to love is the core part of what our pilgrimage is. So I invite you as our week progresses to be deep drenched in care, deep drenched in happiness, in love, in joy and celebration. Let your faith be most fully alive as we pray and share and come together for this wonderful experience. After all, and I have this on good authority, this is much better than Ibiza. <laughs>